officially spooky season. It's October and I feel like there's no better way to kind of get this going by adding a 24 hour food challenge to my channel again. I filmed this video over four years ago during COVID and it was such a difficult challenge to do because I just struggled so much trying to find the Halloween stuff in preparation for the video. But today we're filming this a little bit more earlier. I've got all the stuff that I need to do. I know what I'm doing and I feel like I've set myself up a bit more better in a successful way. So yeah, it's early in the morning. It's actually seven o'clock. Um, I've already filmed my video this morning of my Halloween food haul. So if you guys haven't already checked that out, it's up on my channel already, then please do. This is a little behind the scenes of what I've just been filming. There's Doris here in a really adorable Dracula costume. I love it. So cute. She looks amazing. I love the fact that we can get this on the telly. Little Halloween background vibes there. So for my breakfast today, I'm going to give a pumpkin smoothie a go. Never tried pumpkin, just never really had anything pumpkin spice or themed before so yeah I feel like for the first time I'm gonna give it a go because why not this is what the video is all about is trying new things so yeah we're gonna make a pumpkin smoothie for my breakfast so let's go for this video we've got my special assistant giving us a hand to mop up any of the mess so I picked up this pumpkin here in Aldi last night this one was 69p I'm pretty sure they had better value than this but it was like the last one available so we're gonna use this for the smoothie I'm gonna be honest, I have absolutely no idea which part of the pumpkin is supposed to be edible. So I'm gonna quickly have a Google search because I don't wanna mess up and end up poisoning myself in some way. All parts of the pumpkin are edible. I'm happy with that, but I just wanna double check it because I don't want to um, end up eating something that will give me a bad reaction or a bad stomach afterwards, so yeah. We've scooped out our pumpkin and looks a little bit like this what i am going to do is i'm going to use these seeds and dry them out and actually plant them in the garden for next year because one thing we didn't do this year was grow pumpkins we've grown them for the past two years since we've lived here but for some reason we just didn't plant them for this year basically so i will be reusing these seeds so we've got the pumpkin there I think that's enough that I've kind of put inside of there. And I think for flavour purposes, we're going to put a bit of this orange juice in just to give it a bit of, I don't know, morning zest. I don't know if I want to put soy milk in with orange juice. Does that go together? I don't know. A handful of spinach as well, just for the greenery um, and for like that health kick, because I think that's what people do with their breakfast. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of smoothies in the morning. I don't really do it, but I just feel like we're just going to give something new a go. As I'm filming this, Dracula is down there trying to munch on all of the pumpkin seeds and they're so slippery. They're really hard to pick up when they're on the floor. With that, we're going to add like a spoonful of porridge oats. I don't really know how this is all going to taste. It kind of looks like I'm making like a witch's brew here. Just kind of throwing everything together and hoping it works. I'm just going to put basically one satsuma in. Satsumas are my favourite types of orange. They just taste so nice. They're just so sweet and sour. I love it. We're going to put a little bit of the cinnamon in there. It smells amazing. Already it smells like this time of year, Christmas, autumn vibes. So I'm going to put the, the lid on and blend it up and see what it turns out like. It actually looks really great. <laughs> Does it smell too bad? I think it's the soya milk that's given it that sort of thing. But I'm gonna add a little bit of orange juice in because it just, I feel like this is becoming more of a dare than an enjoyable experience right now. I'm kind of regretting putting the spinach in as well because it's made like a really disgusting green kind of color. Let's put that back on. <gasps> I've overspilled it now. Oh shit. It's spilling out the sides. So yeah, that is the smoothie blended up and all over the place because yeah, chaos as always. So we're gonna use this little Halloween glass which I bought a couple of years ago, I think from B&M. And we're gonna use this edible um, goo just all around the edges. I can't believe as well, like the last time I filmed this video, I was in my old flat and now I have like a whole house and everything. I feel like it's such a weird feeling like how different my life has changed since that time as well. Like I didn't have any dogs in my life. I just didn't even know we were gonna be moving out of that flat. Like everything's just completely changed in my life since that video. So that's pretty cool to know like four years ago, how much has changed in that time. So yeah, there's my gooey cup to go with my 
gruesome smoothie that I'm actually really not looking forward to try to be honest with you I feel like I've really messed up on the whole ingredients part there but yeah um let's let's try it oh my god it looks absolutely rank it even sounds disgusting even the porridge oats in there make it look disgusting like the texture is just too much i'll show you guys what it looks like because it's absolutely horrifying so this is the reality of when i'm cooking just a complete mess and disaster but this is the pumpkin halloween breakfast smoothie that i've made it looks absolutely horrific so let's go and give it a go the texture in there just doesn't look drinkable at all but we're gonna give it a go That's actually not that bad. Once you get past through the lumps and stuff like that, it actually tastes okay. I feel like the cinnamon really comes through out of that. I haven't put a lot of it in there, but you can definitely taste the cinnamon. The oats are obviously a little bit like bitty. Nah, I don't know. The edible slime stuff is actually okay tastes quite like fruity gonna say that's like a seven out of ten mainly because i'm not really a smoothie person i've never really put anything like spinach or oats in my smoothies when i ever make a smoothie it's always got like just fruit in it but yeah this is my first proper like i would say health kick version of a smoothie and i don't think it's too bad but again my taste buds are a little bit childish mm. i think it's a bad idea to put all the goo around it as well because it's absolutely everywhere, all over my hands. I'm going to sit down, finish the rest of this glass now. It doesn't actually taste too bad. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. The cinnamon saved it, the vanilla saved it, and you could definitely taste the orange in there as well. But the pumpkin doesn't taste as bad as I thought. For the first time ever trying it, it just doesn't taste like how I imagined. I don't know why. I'm going to sit here now, watch this episode of Wednesday, and I'll catch up with you guys again in a little bit because... I definitely want to try some of the treats that I picked up from Asda and Audi last night. We're going to put this on the hot chocolate and then I'm going to put the edible blood on top of it. There is my <coughs> bloody hot chocolate. Didn't do as great a job as I thought I was going to be, but yeah. That is the hot chocolate done. So let's go enjoy that with a couple of snacks. So here is my Halloween snacks. I'm going to give a try. Got two eyeball chocolates as well. Because I feel like you kind of have to do it as a pair. Just makes sense. That's the rules. And then obviously I've got my Jaffa Ween cherry cake bar. And then I'm going to try one of these Asda creepy cookies. Because they look really cool. Love that they've done that. I've never seen anything like that before. So yeah, look at that. The blood, by the way tastes really really nice i don't know what i've done to it but it's a really good flavor we're going to give some of the snacks a little go so i've got a pair of the chocolate eyeballs they're just basically chocolate balls mm. the chocolate is really thick around that like an easter egg but even better Next up, we've got this Jaffa Ween cake bar in the cherry flavour. It looks like a dark chocolate colour, but I think Jaffa cakes normally are anyway. Mm. You can really taste the cherry in there, so nice. The last snack in this little segment I'm going to try are these creepy cookie green cookies from Asda. Looking forward to trying these. Again, it's just going to be like a normal white chocolate cookie with just green colour in it, but this is what they look like here. Pretty cool. These ones were £1.30, by the way, for a pack of five. Uh, mm. So good. Out of all the things I've just eaten, you want my hot chocolate the most. Do you like the whipped cream? Is it nice? I think the last thing to try now is the hot chocolate. Hopefully it's not too hot. Nothing too exciting. It's just literally a hot chocolate with whipped cream and some bloody sauce on it. But yeah, we're going to give it a go. Not like I've never tried it before, but yeah. The only thing with this cup is that it's quite difficult to drink out of. You kind of have to dive your entire face into the mug to drink out of it. But yeah, a little hot chocolate to warm up the stomach goes a long way. I feel like this is the most glamorous I've ever looked on a dog walk in my entire life. But we are currently out with Doris, walking off all those calories that we've just eaten at breakfast, ready for our lunch. And yeah, just thought I'd bring you guys along with me because the leaves are turning brown and it's proper autumnal right now and the air is just so crispy like autumn in the air 
I wish you can just bottle it up and just like use it as a perfume because it smells so nice and fresh so yeah just taking Doris out for a little walk a little wander around and then we'll get back and make some dinner um, I'm really excited to make the dinner actually because I'm planning on making like a witch's broth sort of brew thing <laughs> time is going so quickly in this video for today but yeah we are moving on to our lunch for the day i'm gonna be making a witch's broth tomato soup type of thing i'm gonna be adding something a little bit gruesome and it is the plant-based shrimp here again if you want to follow this recipe i'm kind of making up as i go but you could also include this sort of version in a non-vegan sort of form but yeah i just thought i'd give this a go i haven't actually tried shrimp for many years the first and last time i ever tried it was like christmas eve as a dare because me and my cousin thought it would be a great idea to attempt the i'm a celebrity eating challenge with like all sorts of different food and because i never actually tried shrimp before or prawns we thought why not give it a go and it's the most disgusting thing i've ever tried and it put me off my christmas dinner the next day i was so ill i just absolutely hated it so yeah i'm gonna be for some reason trying this i just thought it'd be a fun thing to add into this witch's broth because i feel like it's just the most gruesome looking thing and even though it's not the real deal it kind of still gives that impression i've also got a tin of tomato soup as the base here this one's from aldi we're also going to be adding some seasonal veg like broccoli as well as a packet of carrots as well again both are from aldi i feel like I'll just add those bits in because it's kind of very on point with the autumnal time of the year and then also for a little bit of texture in with this i'm going to add a little bit of tofu as well i also have some butternut squash which i'm going to add i was going to add the pumpkin but josh has already put it in the compost bin so i can't use that but that would have been such a great idea to kind of incorporate into this we are also joined again by doris my lovely assistant i don't know if you can see her down there but she was just always in the background of all these videos i'm not going to make too much because i feel like I don't want to waste anything. cut out some like pumpkin shapes or sort of halloween figures to dunk into the soup because i feel like if i don't enjoy the actual texture and the contents of the soup all together as a whole i can always dunk it in and soak it up with some bread i think the best thing to do here is just kind of like freestyle it so yeah i've got some scissors there but i might actually use a knife or even a pizza cutter depends on what we're gonna do i'm kind of feeling like ghosts or pumpkins and try and create a pumpkin shape as much as possible without wasting too much bread. And that is my attempt on freestyling a pumpkin. Is that even worth it? I mean, I don't even know how much we're going to soak up the soup with that. I feel like the best way to make the most out of this, though, is to just do a ghost. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like it's quite the easiest option to do without wasting too much of the bread. you guys think i don't know obviously you can tell it's a ghost but it just didn't look the way i kind of imagined it to be using the leftover bits of bread i'm actually going to make some croutons put them in the oven for a little bit put a bit of sea salt on there um so that it doesn't get wasted so obviously the carrots as you can see have just been done from the oven so we're gonna put them in to the soup just to kind of soak them up a little bit more. And reusing the same pan from the carrots, we're gonna put a bit more olive oil in there. And then we're gonna roast our breadcrumbs uh, to make our very own croutons. Scrunch it all up, put it all in there. Yeah, we're gonna make another figurine. So again, I feel like that's just really poorly done. The pumpkin, the ghost, what else are we missing? We could try and do a skull. But that's kind of really pushing ourselves out there, isn't it? Let's give it a go there. We're all for trying things, you never know. This one might be the best one out of all of it. You just never know. That's how that one turned out. It looks really cute as well. I'm a bit concerned about the teeth bit and obviously I've kind of broken it on the corner there, but I feel like it looks all right. 
So I've just quickly changed my battery over, but the soup is done, the croutons are done, the bread has been sliced into cute little Halloween characters. So all that's left to do now is to dish it all up and give it a little taste test. Hopefully the smell of this fake shrimp stuff's kind of like been disregarded in all the other seasoning flavours. I hope it doesn't taste fishy. <laughs> because that will literally make me gag. Got my Halloween mug there that I'm gonna use for my soup. I'm gonna pour this into here. So yeah, that is my witch's broth soup type of thing with all my little creepy character bread things along the side. Got Hotel Transylvania 2 in the background on channel four. Perfect timing sit and eat this with. I'm actually really nervous to give this soup a go but it can't be that bad because individually I actually like all of the ingredients but just never really tried that weird vegan shrimp alternative but yeah we're gonna give it a go let's see it smells all right though I feel like I seasoned it pretty well that's way too hot I feel like the more you start to enjoy experimenting with things like this in life the better it just sort of gets but yeah I'm gonna try this with the bread actually really really good it's completely different to how i would normally eat day to day like i would i wouldn't just normally sit here and eat soup it's actually really enjoyable i feel like that's one of the most autumnal things i've ever eaten in my life i feel like now i've kind of like overcome the idea of eating this because i've always wanted to be that person at this time of year that goes to a cafe and eats like a homemade soup by the window with a nice hot drink looking at all the views and taking in that autumnal sort of feel so now that i can actually enjoy that i feel like i might do it more often mm. the croutons are so good as well if you wonder where bruno's been in most of this video he's been upstairs asleep i took him hiking yesterday and uh <laughs> he's basically really worn himself out like he's the sort of dog where take him for a walk he's just done he's so happy content with that doris on the other hand I could probably take her on five hikes a day and she still has so much energy like she's always on the go she's always awake always alert whereas bruno he kind of like will just sort of surrender to the tiredness so he's currently in bed recovering from his hike yesterday just realized beetlejuice juice does that count as the third time of saying it so i'm gonna sit and finish this watch a little bit of hotel transylvania so this is the leftovers of the really nice hearty soup. I just can't seem to get the idea out of my head that this is not real shrimp and just not really enjoying it with the whole soup texture if I'm being honest. But yeah, I feel like I've done pretty much a very good job in eating that. So yeah, very, very happy with that. So I'm conscious that time is ticking on a little bit and I'm due to go to the cinema at quarter past five. So I've got another hour to go for that. So I don't want to make myself too sick because I've not long finished eating that soup. Some of these little space raider. Mm. These ones are from Aldi. I was super addicted to these as a child. I loved them so much. They're so light and delicious, but I could feel like I could eat the whole pack. But again, we're gonna save ourselves for the cinema a bit later. I'm gonna try these jelly beans now. In these packs, you get like three different colors. You've got like black, orange, green, and purple. What would have made these even special is if they were like disgusting flavors like farts and I don't know if you've heard of the bean boozle challenge but I remember doing that years ago with my sister. Mm, just so nice. Just normal fruit flavors to be honest with you. I'm gonna give these a go. The Wicked Witches one. Again these ones are from Aldi. Um, I just want to find out what flavor they are because it doesn't actually say. I can't really tell. Again I could easily go through a whole packet of these. They're just so addictive and they're just so nice. I'm gonna end that there because I feel like I can quite easily devour all of this. So for the cinema later, I feel like I'm gonna bring these. I'm gonna bring these cookies for my brother and sister. And of course, I'm gonna bring these to the cinema because I feel like halfway through the film, they'll be really fun to try out. Um, especially trying to keep quiet in the cinema. So yeah, I feel like last time I did this, I was so unhealthy. I felt sick by the end of the day. I tried so many different sweets and I had the donuts back to back as well. This time I feel like I've added a little bit of structure, a little bit of stability to the diet. So yeah, I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna make myself a packed lunch ready for the cinema later. <laughs> Good morning. 
morning everyone as you can tell it's the day after my eating challenge and i just thought i'd continue this video because obviously i didn't manage to fit in three meals yesterday so this morning i decided that i'm gonna make some zombie sausages which are very very trendy this time of year it's not something that's unusual at this time of year if that makes sense so i'm gonna show you how i make them and obviously finish the rest of this video because it is a 24 hours eating challenge and obviously it's not quite hit the 24 hours mark yet i've been out walked the dogs uh, went to the cinema last night which was really really fun love beetlejuice beetlejuice after so many years of the first one being out it was so cool to have the second one come out finally so yeah really enjoyed it if you haven't seen it yet go and give it a go because it's such a great film and the nostalgia and even seeing beetlejuice for the first time and the underworld i absolutely love that part the most excuse the fact that i look like a thumb right now but yeah it is early in the morning and i have been out been soaked walking the dog so it is what it is so for the sausages i'm going to be using the meatless farm pork and apple sausages because obviously in this time of year apples are actually in season and i feel like it's just a good fun little twist on this little recipe so yeah it's quite simple to do and i feel like you can use any kind of sausages you have to use the meatless ones for this and yeah obviously to go with that to make it a zombie sort of effect we've got the puff pastry from asda here obviously i've got my bacon tray i've put the oven on already and i'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil down these ones actually only go in the oven for 9 to 12 minutes, which isn't too bad. And yeah, we are basically going to give this a go. I feel like this isn't going to taste bad compared to the other things that I've tried. This is the most normal one, I think. All we need to do is like roll it into slices to kind of wrap around the sausages. So bad at like making things look aesthetically pleasing but like you've got to make this like really thin to kind of make it work i've made some of it a little bit too thick i reckon i might put a few on just for like work prep or something like that as well because i feel like that'd be fun to have that's all the zombie sausages prepared with the pastry a healthier way of making the eyes on the zombie sausages because i see a lot of people using the traditional like candy eyes um is to get like a tough pick like this you just kind of put two holes in like that and what we're going to do is we're going to put in some peppercorns from like this pepper if you've got anything like this at home unscrew the lid and basically take the pepper out and make eyeballs out of it i did this one before a couple of years ago and it turned out really good i'm just gonna put them in there like that and basically make eyeballs out of them so hopefully it turns out well this is the sausages ready to go in the oven we're gonna leave them for around 10 15 minutes so to go with my sausages i'm gonna be making some green scrambled eggs obviously i'm just gonna be using eggs for this i've got my measuring jug there and i'm gonna use some spinach to make it like green and gruesome i feel like that'd be quite fun to add with the sausages like a nice little touch to that so yeah So if you can see, that's turned out a really lovely, gruesome, green scrambled egg texture. The only thing left we have to do now is give it a little cook up. The sausages are done, so I'm just going to leave that in there to stay warm. I'm just going to use a little bit of spray light because I feel like I've used a lot of olive oil in this video. Oh, uh, that looks absolutely disgusting. I had never thought about doing this before, but it's such a simple and quick idea. I've never actually blended my scrambled egg before, so I'm quite intrigued to see how this turns out. But yeah, look how disgusting that looks. It's really gross. Oh, this looks actually insane. How cool does that look? That looks so good. That looks amazing. Like, I've never thought about doing that before, so really impressed with adding that little detail on there, because I feel like... This is actually a really healthy breakfast in some ways. So I'm just going to put my little zombie sausages on there. Yeah, that is my Halloween breakfast for this morning. Green eggs and ham from Dr. Seuss. I've got some zombie sausages, a little tub of ketchup there. What more could you ask for? And I absolutely love a bit of puff pastry. So yeah, going to go enjoy that now. So I'm going to do a little quick taste test of the scrambled egg spinach thing that I've just made. Dunk it in some ketchup. Mmm. That is so good. I'm gonna try one of these sausages though, just because I've never tried the pork and apple ones before. Again, dunk it into ketchup because I love it. The apple kind of comes through, but not in an overpowering way, but you know it's there. That is really, really nice. And I feel like in a sausage roll, a pork and apple vegan sausage would be absolutely unreal. 
I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my breakfast for a little bit and I'll catch up with you guys when I look a bit more presentable and finish this video to conclude everything. Um, so see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so it's a couple of days later. I've actually edited this video and the last thing I need to do is film an outro. It's been a couple of days and I just, yeah, haven't had the energy or made the effort to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna sum this video up. I had a really great time trying out all these Halloween foods. I didn't feel too sick afterwards, which compared to the first time I did it, I can just remember feeling so ill because I just had a massive sugar rush. I feel like this time everything just came together really nicely and worked out really well. The breakfast was really nice like having the spinach eggs i feel like that was such a cool touch i've never done that anything like that before such a simple thing to do i'm pretty sure someone out there has done it already it's not like an original idea or anything but i just feel like in the moment i just feel like because of the way the spinach affected the breakfast movie i just thought it'd be a good way to kind of try it out with the scrambled egg and it worked really nicely so yeah sorry for the fact the video is very long as well i just feel like i just kept filming and i kind of like it when i just let the camera roll and i just kind of interact a bit more in that way i played around a bit of the video style so if you can see in the middle of the vlog i kind of like try to transition and have different perspectives of what I was doing in the cooking area of stuff but yeah let me know what you guys think of all of that because again I'm trying to adapt to new ways of filming and editing and just being a bit more active on YouTube in general it's been a bit of a different perspective this time around I feel like I've definitely am more open to trying new things and experimenting and seeing what works and doesn't work so yeah I am going to be uploading a little bit more often over the next couple of weeks so really looking forward to doing that um, and just being a bit more active in general on YouTube again because it's really given me a lot of purpose in my life at the moment not like I don't have much of it but I mean it's kind of given me something to look forward to and play around with my creative side as you can see Dracula in the background doesn't have a costume on anymore yeah she kind of had it on for a long time that day she loves it but yeah she is so cute and like I said to you guys in the vlog she just follows me around absolutely everywhere she's always in the background or by my feet or tip tapping around to sum this video up I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me eat only Halloween foods for 24 hours I kind of tried to make homemade sort of food rather than eating loads of confectionery even though it's really fun and easy to do to buy like Halloween versions of it I feel like it's mainly the packaging that sells it as Halloween rather than it being like a Halloween actual flavor and autumnal sort of thing so yeah I've tried to be a bit more experimental the cooking side of it this time like the pumpkin smoothie the pumpkin was actually so much different to what I expected I expected it to be like disgusting but actually surprisingly it just smells like pumpkin and it doesn't have any bad taste to it at all you can just it just smells like it I don't know how to explain it. it's got no texture or like a weird after flavor or anything like that so yeah I actually really enjoyed it so definitely be trying that again soon um, I might even make like a pumpkin and butternut squash sort of curry or something like that I don't know if that's a thing but yeah I feel like that's what I'm going to be doing with that but yeah I'm not going to leave this outro too long or any longer than it needs to be because like I said the video is already quite long as it is but if you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to give this a thumbs up subscribe let me know in the comment section if you tried any of the foods that I've created or if you've ever tried pumpkin before most of the foods that I picked up from this challenge are from Aldi and Asda so if you guys want to go and check out or use any of the stuff that I basically use in this video then go to those stores because that's kind of where I've got everything from but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this little Halloween eating challenge and my incorporation of the idea let me know what you guys think in the comment section because I'd love to hear what you guys think about it all if you have stuck around for the outro thank you guys so much for your patience in watching this video um, I hope you guys are doing really well take care and I'll see you again soon in my next video bye